All right, let's let's hop into the video. So, first we're gonna have a nice, probably long talk today because it's been a minute, and then we're gonna have a good session today. Um, but we're gonna talk a lot first, low key. So let's start. Okay, let's not get hit by a car first. Actually, Jesus. Um, okay. So let's talk about first off why I haven't been filming, what's going on week wise, program wise, and life wise. So, um, okay. So today is week two, day four of the second block with my coach, the third block on the channel. Um, and well, the first thing we're going to talk about real quick is just. I have tried to film, so, okay, originally, I filmed last week, the video I posted, I think yesterday, uh, at the time of filming, I posted yesterday, I filmed that video last week on Wednesday, or, sorry, last week on Monday, um, and that was supposed to be my first video for the block, because I didn't want to have a comp squad or a comp dead, or like, I, I just, I, sorry, my first video, like I said in that video, was supposed to be my comp deadlift. Okay, which is the second day of the block. But when I went to go pull that deadlift, as I talked about in that video, it did not come off the floor. Uh, and my last one felt like awful. So I didn't deadlift that day at all. So I scrapped the video because if I'm not deadlifting, I'm not posting a video that's called deadlifting. It's just literally a back workout. It's pointless for me. Um, so I scrapped that video and ended up my first video, my first video being the pause paw squats and mid grip bench which is what i did in that video and then i was going to film deadlifts like i promised which would have been this saturday but there was a powerlifting meet going on in my gym downtown so i first off i handled at that meet from one of my best friends and two i didn't work out at my gym so i was going to film but i was filming in the rec center and our rec center is annoying as hell and they yelled at me for having a tripod so i couldn't use a tripod and uh i didn't end up filming because i was rushing to my gym downtown to go handle so i didn't end up filming my video on saturday but anyway i was going to film i was, well, I was going to either film that because i wanted to film deadlifts i wanted this video to be deadlifts no matter what so today we have pause deads um but i know i haven't i haven't posted deads in a long time so I hope my form has improved from my last post, and we're going to really focus on form today. And that gets me into my next point, which is since my deadlift didn't leave the floor, right? And then we'll skip a little bit ahead. On Friday, which is my start of my second week, I had a comp squat double at eight, which was going to be an all-time PR. Um, but I was, like I talked about in my last video, I, start, I stopped wearing heels. Uh, I was just in flat shoes. So I went to go pull it in flat shoes. And, uh, or sorry, I went to go squat in flat shoes. And um, I got folded. Uh, and it was really bad. So I went for 142 and a half kilos. It would have been all-time PR for two. And I didn't get it. So I did back offs at 130. Or I, did a, I did tops at 130 and then back offs of 130. And I put my heels back on because when I had flat shoes on, I just couldn't squat. It wasn't feeling good. It wasn't looking good. Nothing was good about it. So I put my heels back on. Everything was fine. Squatted. But that also means I didn't get to have an RP8 top set my last week before doing singles. And the same day, also that Friday, I had bench. My bench was a single at 7 or 6. And it was supposed to be tying my all-time PR of 102.5. Uh, kilos, like gym PR, and I went for it, and I hit it really easy at a seven. And I looked, and I forgot to put collars on, so it was actually ninety-seven and a half. So I ended up dropping the weight, but it still moved at like a seven, which means I was overshooting before. So basically, these last two weeks have been a fucking mess. Um, this Saturday, I was in the rec center, like I said, pulling my deadlift, which was. Not going to be a PR, but it's going to be a big weight for me. It was going to be, I was supposed to match what I did two, uh, three weeks ago at the top set of my block, my last block, which was a double at, at seven, which is what I had on Saturday, uh, which was 365 in kilos. I was doing it on pound plates with a deadlift bar in the rec center. Did the first one, moved to like an eight, 
and then the second one did not want to come off the floor. Um, I had to like readjust. I was not comfortable with the bar. I wasn't comfortable with pounds. I wasn't comfortable with anything. Uh, I was also rushing. It was just a bad day. So my deadlift, I only got a single instead of a double of 365, which I hit for a double two weeks ago at eight, at seven. Um, and I hit the first rep at eight. So my deadlift's been an absolute fucking mess. My squat was bad because I was squatting in flat shoes. I think my heels are going to be fine now. My bench is still good. It's just I undershot last week weight-wise, but not RPE-wise, which was not really good. It pretty much shows me I need a deload. Um, and the whole entire rest of that week was really easy. So far, this week's been pretty easy. But we're going to talk about what's happening now. So my coach decided um, for at least the next few weeks, and right now he has it for the rest of the block, he's going to give me ranges instead of an RPE. So he's just going to give me projected ranges of, like, what number that should be hitting. And I can, like, pick from between the range. The problem I have right now is, first off, he's off because he handled, like, 15 people at the meets. Uh, the, sorry, he handled, like, 8 people at the meet, and he wanted three days off, which is fair enough. Um, so I can't really talk to him, like, complaining right now. Like, I can talk to him as a, as a boy, but, like, can't talk to him as a coach right now. Uh, he's not working. So... I can't discuss my weights and all that shit right now. But yesterday, I did pause squats. I was going to do 125 kilos for four at six. And my range was 100 to 105. So I did 105. It looked good, felt good. Everything was good. But that was 20 kilos off of what I thought I was going to be doing. So that's a big deal. Um, And the rest of the block right now, my weights are just... They're just not good. Like, the weights are just... The ranges are awful. They're poverty weights right now. So, I don't know how that's going to go, to be honest. I don't know if it's going to go better, if it's going to go worse. Sorry, like I was saying, my car just glitched and, like, stopped recording. But, as I was saying, the rest of the block, everything is super, 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 super light. So, like, I'm kind of indifferent about it right now because he has my RP8 single bench with a maximum range of 102.5, I believe, which would be matching what I hit for a double, um, which I don't like. So I'm, I'm going to talk to him a little bit about it, but for the next few days, at least, my weights are really, really light. So, like, today is really light. Like, my dad, I think my top range of that I'm allowed to do is 110 kilos. It's literally going to be baby weight today. Um, it is pause deads. I have pause deads. I have four at six, it's supposed to be. I guarantee it's going to be at, like, three or four, but who cares? The whole point is supposed to be really light, really focused on form. So the goal of like the next week or so, at least at least the end of this week and the next week, because my ranges are so low, is just grind form. Make my form picture perfect and make sure I can do that as I add weight to the bar. So that's the goal right now. But it is kind of like annoying because I want to have heavy ass weight. And next week I start singles. So next week I understand like I have a squat, like at a single at five and it's like, it's like 110. Like, that makes sense. It's light. And then, like, my bench, whatever, we'll talk about. I'll talk about with him when I can. And then my dad is going to be super light. So I get that because they're, they're singles and they're at five. So undershooting doesn't matter. I was just mad because I knew this week was the I was supposed to hit my top PRs for doubles at, at eight. And um, I didn't have a chance to because my squad got messed up from the heels. And the bench, he would, he was there, and he was like, do not retake it. I don't care if it moved easy. Do not retake it. It's fine. You don't need the weight. So he didn't let me retake my bench and my squat. Obviously, I wasn't going to retake when I failed it. Um, and I felt really uncomfortable because I wasn't used to heels again. So, But yesterday, I squatted with heels. Looked really good. Felt really good. Moved really well. Um, today, I have paused eds. I have a, a new cue that I'm going to try out. And if it's really good, I'll probably talk about it on the way back if I remember. If it's bad, then I won't talk about it. But... We'll see how the cue works out. We'll see how my dad's move today. I'm going to really focus on doing long pauses too. Like yesterday, my pause squats are pretty good, at least two seconds. So pause does today. I'm going to do at least two second pauses. I only have one second pause prescribed, but I want pauses to be good. Like I usually I usually bitch out about pauses. Like I feel like I'm pausing forever, and I look back in the video, I didn't even pause it. So today, I want my pauses to be like clear cut on video. Like you can tell I have pause deadlifts, and I'm doing pause deadlifts. And then I have a bunch of back work. The back work, the back work today we get to push like crazy. Um, everything's like four sets. So the back work is probably going to kill me today, but that's good. You can actually get a nice little good pump today. My bicep yesterday was like, and like earlier today, was like twitching. 
like spasming just randomly from yesterday's workout and I didn't hit biceps at all. So hopefully that doesn't affect me, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. My pre is also all clumped up, so I don't know how this is going to affect me because it's probably not an even distribution today because my pre was literally like a rock from my air conditioning going to 88 degrees that one time and it just was sitting in my closet and it destroyed my pre. But, uh, you know what? It's whatever. We're going to hop into the workout and uh, we're going to make this one a good one. All right. Last one up. We got a single. I'm the stupid ass TSS bar, which is fucking dog shit, but whatever. This cue's been working out, so we'll see how it feels. Alright, let's do it. Alright, upset. Four. Some good pauses here. Focusing on the pauses. Come on. Easy. All right, you got two by five back downs. Those looked really good and they felt really good, so hope these are the same. One more. All right, one more. Five. Make pauses good. Maybe even longer. Beautiful. Back work. All right, we got three by 12. 175, just matched them last week, same RP. Dead's is literally the best that's ever felt in my life, so I'll talk about the cue when I get back in the car. But let's get this back work going. The shirt's are really loose, so I might low key do an actual Sam Solik, like, won't take it off till I'm posing. We'll see. Two more. All right. Two more. I thought it was good. I was going to increase the weight, but I know my third set is going to end up being higher of an RP. So if my first set was six, this one should be seven. That one might be eight or even up to seven. So I'm just going to keep it, unless this is super easy.
That one was like a seven, maybe harder. Keep it the same for sure. All right, last one. Let's go, let's go, come on. 12. That set looked way easier than it felt. Um, so, hopefully this one moves the same, but that one felt pretty hard and it looked easy, so. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but it doesn't matter. I'm getting 12, let's fucking get it. Come on, come on. Felt awful. Probably didn't look hard at all. Holy shit. All right. And we got wide grip rows, 3 by 12 Um, I'm matching the same way as last week again. RP7, hopefully. Let's keep the form really strict. Here is my goal. Let's see how this goes. Two more. Whew. All right, we got two more. My head's starting to hurt, so after this, I'm gonna start sipping on my cluster dextrin. But I'm gonna get this set out the way first. All right, come on. One more. All right. Last set of this. Let's go. Move on. All right, I got two sets, as many reps as possible. Pull overs. I've been starting to do a black pull down bar, and it feels pretty good, but it's hard. Too far apart. Hold on. Okay. Um. Here. Oh. 
16. PR. All right. One more of this. And we got hyper extensions. Oh. Holy shit. Hypersensitive. All right, one more. I think I got 14 last time, so hopefully match that. I fucking hate these so much, man. Oh, 14 in my bag, bro. Hammer curls when we're done. My head is murdering me. Um, oh, we got three by 15, I believe. Let's go. Two more. All right, two more. Come on. Easy. God, one more. Last one, come on. Easy. 15. Let's go pose. Fuck. 
Let's see what this pump looks like. <laughs> Ooh, I actually kept this running the whole time, so I have no clue. Oh, it's hard to get off and it's loose. This could be, this could be a good pump. Alright. Let's see. The phone. Be good. Not bad. Your front last right? Damn. <clears throat> Wide in the back. Let's see. Damn. The quad. I can't really see it, but not bad. I can't see my fucking. Not bad. Oh. Alright, let's get in the car. Alright, so what a workout, low key. I am exhausted. Good pump. Um, I actually just ate something in the gym, which is kind of ironic. Uh, I had one of like, they have like meal preps in like a fridge um, that you can buy. So I had one of those um, just now because I have no more food at home and I am starving. So, uh, my head also hurts a little bit. I have a headache, so I don't know if that's from sleeping or what, because I got woken up at 5.50 a.m. to a fire alarm going off in my building, which is always fun. Um, yeah, so I was up for like 30 minutes, and then I went back to sleep and slept for a while, but that definitely could have been why um, I'm like pretty tired right now. So, that uh, could be one reason. But the other thing I do want to talk about the deadlifts are goaded today. Like that, so, all right, so I'll talk about the cue that I was talking about that I was, I got from a video. Um, so the cue is you put your thumb on your oblique and you put your middle finger on the top of your thigh. And all you do, you keep your legs locked out or basically locked out. And all you do is you try to squeeze your thumb and your middle finger together. That's literally all you do. So you're just bending down until your fingers try to go like this. So let me just turn this on so it actually looks a little better, maybe. Yeah, the flash is kind of annoying, but whatever. Um, so that cue worked really well because it forces you into a perfect hinge. You can't mess it up when that's your cue. Like, you have literally nowhere else to go. So you can't do anything like to mess it up, to be honest. So because of that... Um, because of that, it works very well, and it's going to be very consistent. I don't have to... Well, I can't, damn it. Because that works very well, and it's going to be very consistent. Meaning, my deadlift should get better and better and better now. My deadlift should just be locked into, like, perfect form now. My hinge should be the same every time. And I realize, you can see how long my arms are, because when I'm hinging, before, I, I have my knees locked out, and I can basically touch the bar. I have to do a little tiny bit of knee flexion to touch the bar, which is exactly what you want, and that's the perfect position right there. So I'm perfectly there. Now I just got to master the wedge part of it. Okay, I can't see you. I almost killed that person. Um, I need to master the wedge part of it, and then I'm goaded. And then my deadlift is literally perfect. You can see how round my back is. And I talked to my coach a little bit, a little bit of coaching. He was just working out, but I talked to him a little bit, and he was like, yeah, it looked good. Don't worry about the rounding. So I was like, perfect. Um, I know that as long as, if you start round, as long as you don't get more round, it's not a big deal. If you start rounded in your lower back, it's not really a big deal at all, as long as you don't make it, as long as you don't let it get worse. So, I watched mine, it looked pretty good, when I watch it back, I'll know for sure, but it looked pretty good, I didn't, I don't think I let it get worse at all. So my deadlift felt really, really good today, 
All the accessory work felt really good. Uh, hyper extensions I hate with a passion still. My lower back gets destroyed from hyper extensions, but that's fine. So now we're on to singles. Next time I deadlift, there will be a single. Um, so it's going to be a, a single at five, but I have a projected range, which again, I told him, I told you guys I'm going to talk to my coach about. So I'm going to talk to him about because I think it's a little too low right now. Like he's a little underestimating, which I think is okay because he just wants my form to get used to like having singles because I still am nine. I'll be nine or eight weeks out next week. Um, and then I still have, I have a two week taper. So, and the block is only another two weeks, I think two or three weeks next week. Meaning like I have five weeks before I start tapering to master my form still and to get heavy work in. So if the whole entire next block is a lot lighter just to get used to form, it's fine because right after that, I'm going to have a block where it's just like every day is probably just going to be heavy pulls and probably a lot less accessory work. And then a full taper, which is literally just SPD most likely. Um, I don't know how he does tapers yet. I have to talk to him, but it's going to be something like that. So I'm excited for that. The next block might be a little more chill just because of that. Like the next block, I think he said is going to be more of like a deload block and just like make sure I'm primed to head into a taper block, basically. Like the week's that I'm doing into a taper, I need to be primed for, and that's when it matters on my heavy pulls, because that's when we're going to know my numbers, that's when we're going to know how I stand, how the form looks when I get heavy, and all that shit, so next few weeks are going to be probably a little more boring for me, but just good form work, like tomorrow, the tempo squats, super light, they always, they've been for the super light the whole entire time I've been with him, um, and then I have tempo bench, which will probably be pretty heavy, low-key, because the five-second tempo bench I've been pretty good with. And last week it moved really, really well. Um, so I'm going to probably add at least two and a half kilos, maybe five to what I did last week. So that's good. And then I have Larson. So that will be pretty good. I'm not filming that one tomorrow at all. Um, I'll probably film Friday, which is going to be my comp squat. And then a single on bench. I'm going to talk about the range, but it should be a PR for me. Or It's, in, it's either going to be a PR or tying a PR, no matter what. Um, or I'm going to make it like that because I think my range is 100 and I'm doing 102.5. It's not going to kill me either way. So we'll see. Uh, I got to talk to him, like I said. But yeah, so on Friday, next video, you should see a bench PR. And then I'm starting singles on squat. So finally getting to some type of heavy singles. I have not had singles for anything but bench this whole entire time. I've, like pretty much, honestly, the whole entire time I've been powerlifting, I've never had singles in my life. Because I used to be doing power building, which was Jeff Nippert, and there was never, ever singles. I think there was one single the whole entire program, and it was, like, the last two weeks before you, like, test your maxes. So I have not had singles my whole life. So I'm, I'm interested to see how I do with singles because I think for my leverages, at least, I mean, I know for bench, we already talked about this a while ago, but for bench, I needed singles because when I did a double, it just destroyed me. I know I need singles on bench because my arms are so long, and the range of motion just taxes me so bad when it's more than one rep. But... With other lifts, I don't know if that's the case yet. With deadlift, I have a feeling that's going to be the case as well. Because, not so much because it taxes me, because I actually think my deadlift levers are probably, like, by far, okay, oh, there's so much traffic, by far, not even comparable, my dev, my deadlift leverages are my best leverages for any lift, not even close. Like, I'm pretty much the perfect deadlift conventional puller, because my arms are long as shit, my legs are long as shit, my torso is, like, medium to maybe a little longer, so I'm the perfect conventional puller which means our range of motion is the least unconventional and it's hardly like you see it's just a hip hinge there's literally almost no knee flexion so it's really easy to just pull because the second i start pulling i basically get the hip thrusted in which is where all your power comes from so i should become a really really good deadlifter in theory i mean i already am and like compared to my other lifts my deadlift and my bench are definitely my, my squat's definitely my worst lift um the only problem i have with my deadlift is inconsistent so as long as we keep the form consistent which right now it is and just keep going with it. I think my deadlift's going to blow up really well. My bench has been really good just because I've been doing it for so much longer than every other lift. So my bench numbers are pretty good. And my squat is not bad. I just need to get, like, I need to get comfortable with heavy-ass weight. Because when I get heavy-ass weight, I always, like, freak out. And then I always mess up something. So the squat we need some work on. The deadlift's looking better. The bench has always been looking good. It's looking better and better with the leg drive and all that. You guys will see on Friday, my bench form is looking way better. My squat should actually look pretty good, too, even though I'm getting used to heels again. But we will see. It was a super solid lift. I now have to go home. I have to do some homework. And uh, just chill out a little bit. Hopefully edit this. Hopefully get this up tomorrow, to be honest. I'm trying to... I've been slacking with the uploads. Um, 
for the last two weeks just because my lifts were so bad and then the rec center thing and all that. So I feel kind of bad for uh, upload wise. So I got to lock in uploads a little bit. So hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and hopefully that deadlift cue helps you out a little bit. Remember, thumb on the oblique, middle finger on your thigh, squeeze it together to hinge. Make sure you pause and you're in the right position. Then you bend your knee just until your hands can touch the bar. Then you pause, make sure you brace, pull slack, and lift. That's all you got to do. That looks super simple. So hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.